right, here we go, 1216. You can see the first part of our satellite loop here. We did have some of that low clouds and fog that we had to burn off across Duplin and Onslow County early this morning. Once though, the sun got mixed up for us here, we see those fair weather cumulus clouds, and you'll notice the direction they're heading from northeast to southwest, showing you exactly which way the wind is blowing for us here. And that's bringing in some of that drier and slightly cooler air associated with it here. We're also keeping an eye out on some minor river flooding for us here. Here, the Contentnia Creek, as well as the Northeast Cape Fear River. These waters are going to still run a little high as we go through the weekend, but the flood warnings should be dropping off of them with the mainly dry conditions. Now, another flooding issue we've got that is along the coastal areas for us here, coastal Onslow, Carteret County and Ocracoke because of a couple low pressure sitting offshore and the higher than normal astronomical tide. We will look at maybe one to two feet above ground level water inundation here, especially around times of high tide through the weekend. Upper 70s, low 80s, probably pretty nice out there as we step out the door this afternoon. May add a degree or two from where we are right now. I'll leave a slim chance in for us here north of Highway 64. Could see an isolated shower, thunder shower around later this afternoon. Turn the AC off, open up the windows tonight. We're talking about low to mid 60s for inland spots. Now we could have some more low clouds and patchy fog again tonight, just like we did yesterday or early this morning from yesterday morning's rain. Here's what we've got area of low pressure sitting off of the coast here. And again, that's what's keeping those water levels a little high. A front trying to work its way through the Ohio Valley, but it's running into this big high pressure. The problem is these lows offshore are sending a little bit of energy on the back side of them here from Virginia down into the northern outer banks. That's what could touch off that isolated shower for us to this evening. And then again, you'll see another little band kind of coming across the Albemarle Sound for tomorrow afternoon. The possibility is there, but most of us will see maybe a better chance of a slighter shower as we head on in through the day on Sunday. High pressure still remains dominant for us here, but we do have a lot more high level clouds starting to get involved into our weather pattern. This is what we're going to keep our eye on for next week. An area of low pressure might develop here around the Yucatan Peninsula and drift northbound into the Gulf of Mexico. Now, whether it goes to Florida, Louisiana, Texas, or comes eastbound, we'll have to figure that out. But it is something definitely to keep our eye on because that changes our weather pattern as we get on in through the end of the week for us here. In case you're wondering, it's officially fall, y'all, as of 8.43 on Sunday morning with the autumnal equinox happening here and fall-like temperatures as we head into next week.